Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be filming reading my Goodreads reviews part two. And I die if you want to destroy my sweater oh, 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 this bed as I Part one um last month or earlier this month I don't remember <laughs> but you guys seemed to like it and I thought it was fun to film and some of you guys requested another one so here I am bringing that to you guys so if you don't know what I did last time is basically I just I've read a lot of books <laughs> and I've r written a lot of reviews on Goodreads that are like not essay or like English like English class worthy but like just to get my general thoughts down so I wanted to read over some of these and just kind of laugh about them and then see what I thought about certain books and if I still feel the same way and things like that. I don't know like I was gonna pre-plan which ones I choose but I think it's more fun if I just scroll and just kind of find it. This is my Goodreads. I can barely see what these are but we'll do this one. Ooh, it's Coraline. I love Coraline. Ooh, I kind of written by the looks of it. Oh, okay, okay, not bad. So I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I read this in 2015. It has a 4.03 average, so let's get into the review. So basically, I put a quote, which is, I don't want whatever, whatever I want. Nobody does, not really. What kind of fun would it be if I just got everything I ever wanted just like that and didn't mean anything? What then? And then in bold, I put captivating story, amazing writing, surprisingly kind of creepy. <laughs> surprisingly because <laughs> it is middle grade but a lot of people say it's really creepy and I'm like it's middle grade but it was actually like had a creepy tone to it so that was good um so I said Coraline's story was about her and her journey she goes through the door in the drawing room of their house and gets transported to another place that this other place looks exactly like her home but her parents have button eyes and things are strange it's about her and her other parents and her trying to get back to her actual parents Coraline is is actually a very inspiring girl and very brave considering how young she is. I really admired her character for that. So that's the thing. I, I've i read books, like especially middle grade, it's shown more, but like where there's kids that are portrayed as like really strong, just kids. And it's really nice to see that, you know, cause some kids are annoying and kind of there, but it's nice to see that there's some really brave kids out there. I don't mean that to any offense, but like I like seeing these powerful kids in books because it's good when middle grade readers read these and they see like they get inspired by someone around their age group. That's what's really nice. And yeah, I would actually not even give Coraline a 3.5 out of 5. I would boost it more up to a four just because I, after I've thought about it more, I've liked it more and I've seen the film and like, I love the book. So like, it'd probably be around a four rather than a 3.5. But along with that, I said, I don't think I would get her button eyed parents out of my head. I mean, I kind of did. And then I saw the movie and I was like, the other mother is kind of creepy. I'm giving it is a 3.5 honestly because I don't know what to rate this. Okay. So like, I didn't know what to do. Um, I mean, it was enjoyable and interesting, but not my favorite thing. I definitely like this better unfortunately than unfortunately the milk but it's not a 4.5 or a 5 for me but fits into the three four star range that's right good julia and then i did another quote which is because she said when you're scared but you still do it anyway that's brave and then it's, it says spoilers events and orders so then you'd have to click the remove spoilers which i'm not, i mean show spoilers so i'm not going to do that but i have all the spoilers listed i guess oh my god i have a lot like, I can't show you, but it's all this. Yikes. Okay, so that was my review for Coraline. This is my 2016 shelf. This book is How Hard Can Love Be. This is the second book in the Spinster Club trilogy, which I really like this. I remember really liking it. Um, so yeah, it was uh, published in f on February 1st of 2016 and it has a 4.21 Goodreads average. In my review, I ended up giving it a 3.75 out of 5 stars, which I'd still agree with, probably more to a 4 than a 3.75, but it was still really solid. But this was lovely. It took me a bit to get into this and get used to Amber as a narrative comp compared to Evie because Evie was the main character of the first book and I guess I had some trouble getting used to this new character considering I liked Evie so much. More about romance than mental illness though it deals with addiction and a dysfunctional family. Oh, that, I probably meant that part, was really real and raw to me. 
Ember was interesting and I liked following her as a character. I love Holly Bourne's writing. Her characters are great. Her books discuss feminism feel very real. Not to mention I read this one the day and stayed up late to finish it because I couldn't put it down. Um, I liked the romance. I thought it was really cute. Ember's mother bothered me a lot and I felt the end could have been wrapped up I felt the end wrapped up in a pretty little bow, which I disliked a bit because like, yeah, I remember it was like a little like it was all wrapped up like super great. And I'm like, OK, like, OK, <laughs> like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't like when endings have these perfect endings to them that I'm like, how did that happen? <laughs> and then the last thing I said is I do prefer the first book in the series and I did prefer Evie's story over Amber's, but I still quite enjoyed this book. It was funny and interesting and it picked fun at stereotypes and gender roles. So, yeah. I did like that one. I still kind of agree with that. Maybe around a 3.75 or a 4. I still agree with that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I got The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. This has an... Oh my god. <laughs> this is an average of 4.22 and it was... It doesn't say when it was published, but I know it's not recent <laughs> but yes so basically my rating i kind of glanced at it and i just saw a bunch of caps okay so i read this on october 2nd of 2016 i said this is so clever and cunning it's so dark creepy but so ironic that the male character tells us he's not mad and guides us through the events of a murder he committed so good and perfect for this time of year and i gave it four stars why didn't i give it five i love that book so much like sometimes i'm very picky so now I'm like, it would be a five. Like, it's worthy of a five. I've read it so many times. But for some reason, I gave it a four. I don't know. Let me know down below some maybe of some of your Goodreads reviews and how they were. Or maybe if you've had any changing opinions on books, let me know down below. Or maybe if you are a really harsh reader like I am. Well, it's not, like, I can't even say I was a harsh reader because, like, I still kind of am. But I know when a book deserves five stars. When before I was like, nothing deserves five stars. So now I'm more willing to give five star ratings but before I was really really picky and nitpicked and stuff but since that um since I read the telltale heart I've read it several times now and I love it so much so yes so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogmas videos let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video bye